NASA launched a mission in October that aims to explore a 140-mile-wide metallic asteroid, an asteroid named 16 Psyche. Psyche is considered to be the exposed core of a destroyed planet. Located in the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, Psyche is believed by scientists to be the exposed metallic core of a long-lost protoplanet. Having turned on Psyche's electric hull thrusters, NASA is now guiding the spacecraft towards the metal-rich asteroid situated within the main asteroid belt past Mars. The agency confirms that Psyche is presently operating in full cruise mode, marking six months since its launch on October 13, 2023, via a conventional SpaceX rocket, per the outlet. En route, NASA leveraged Psyche to experiment with laser-based deep space communications, from a distance of approximately 10 million miles, the spacecraft beamed a communications laser back to Earth, marking a pioneering feat for NASA, The Verge reported. Expected to rendezvous with its namesake, the Psyche asteroid, by 2029, the spacecraft will conduct a two-year orbit around it, gathering observations and transmitting data back to NASA. Scientists speculate that Psyche might actually represent the primordial core of a planet, also referred to as a planetesimal. If these metals were present on Earth, their worth would surpass the entire global economy. As an M-type asteroid, Psyche is recognized as metallic, though the exact composition of its metals remains uncertain. Scientists use spectroscopy to determine the composition of celestial objects, a process that breaks down the light emitted by an object into a spectrum, giving it a unique spectral fingerprint. Many scientists suspect that Psyche's surface is predominantly composed of nickel and iron, given their prevalence in asteroids. By using computer simulations and examining the large impact craters on Psyche's surface, scientists can hypothesize what materials the asteroid must be made of to endure the impacts that created these craters. No matter what materials make up Psyche, the asteroid likely holds so much metal that estimating its quantity and applying the current market value results in an astounding number. Mining just the iron alone is worth 100,000 quadrillion dollars. Of course, there is not enough money in the world to ever reach that estimation. And the estimate is based purely p in the value of the metal, but what do you guys think about this anyway?